only shadow scene Her skin is the color of so many ghostly things She dreams, she dreams, she dreams Drinks up everything If she enters the room you should beware For the mysteries of death lie entangled in her hair She knows, she knows, she knows You won't go nowhere Oh my sweet Every person at the skate park, every 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 one of us that puts that amount of time into something where you are taking a chance on hurting yourself, right? It, it, there's 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 just there's a, a um, sim, there's something there's something that has gone on in your life that whether it's whether it's very similar or very different, there's something that you've been through that has put you there. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the man that has to jump out of an airplane 10,000 right. feet in the air and you say, I'm just going to flap my arms and I'll float away. Well, no, you're going to hit the ground and <laughs> die. 
<laughs> so put on Christ like you would a parachute. Trust in his perfect righteousness for your salvation, not your own, because your own won't do anything. Right, right, right. First. All we can do is come before God with empty hands yeah. and plead for mercy. And he is gracious and just to forgive us if we ask him genuinely for forgiveness. And that's the good news of the gospel, is that we don't have to do anything. Right. Christ has done it all. All we have to do is accept by faith what right. he's done, and we'll be saved. Are you going to play me skate after this? Play you what? Skate. Are you here to skate? No? Uh, no, I, I would fall yeah, right off my face. Oh. <laughs> all right. It doesn't matter if you could live to be 120 years old. I don't think you will, but you could. And then if you die, what does it matter? Because what is 120 years compared to eternity? That's nothing. That's the blink of an eye. You know, the scripture talks about man. It says that man is a vapor, that he's a breath. You know, you, you breathe it out and it's gone. It's gone instantly compared to eternity. So the only thing that matters in this life is what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ. Will we accept him as Lord, or will we reject him and be cast into torment? And I'm just pleading with you. You can even in your heart, you know, right now, you can in your own words, as long as you come to him in humility and genuine repentance and faith, he will not cast you away. Christ says that none who call on me will be ashamed, that he will turn aside none who come to him. And we can make all of the excuses possible. You know, we are experts at making excuses and justifying ourselves. We can tell ourselves that we don't believe in God because of this reason or that reason. We can come up with a lifetime of excuses and then all right. that's going to do is damn us. Right. Because what it boils down to ultimately is will you submit to Christ as Lord or right. not? Right. Because we have two options, right? And this is what prideful humanity, this is what you know, natural man in our fallen condition, this is what we can't understand. What we refuse to understand because we're proud is that Christ, whether we acknowledge it or not, Christ is Lord. And we will either willingly bow to him and receive eternal life by his mercy, or we will bow to him out of force on the day of judgment before we're cast into hell. So right. those are our options. Those are the only two options that await us. Every single person who ever walks the face of the earth is every man dies, and after man dies, they have to face judgment. So will you go to hell or will you go to heaven? That's the, that is the only question that matters, is where are you going when you die? Because that's eternity. It's not that either one of us has any money to make off of you. When I leave tomorrow, I may never see you again because right. I'm not from here. So we don't have anything to gain from you doing anything. Of course, but yeah. because of the cold hard truth of it being what it is, that's why we want to make sure we've done everything within our power it to... boost your faith that much more. Yeah, to make sure that you understand that so that when we ask you if you'd like to make the decision to accept Jesus as your personal Savior, that we know that you know what exactly that means. Right, right, right. Because we don't want to see you in hell. We don't want, I, I don't want to see, he doesn't want to see anyone in hell. Because that's a fearful place to be. So we, we're saying this out of love and concern for you. Even right. though we, well, we've both just met you today. Of course. But we're commanded to love our neighbor as ourselves. I don't want to see you in hell. I don't want to see anybody in hell. Right. And rather, I think I speak for the both of us when I say we want to see you in heaven. That's what we do want.